Hi there, this is gonna be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hi Aquas, this is gonna be for these middle to se you know, second half of November. And they are a little bit late, but you know what? Always on time, honey, right? Time is an illusion. This would be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Aquarius. All right, guys, here we go. I have been a little MIA because I have just been really busy. I just came out of yet again another heart purification. <sighs> Transformation rebirth this past couple of days really, really stripped me down. A lot of you guys are going to find that you're purging a lot of past life gunk things that are just maybe not meant to come with us in this new cycle um ironically yesterday just with everything i had going on i saw this movie i, sh I was shocked i didn't hear of it before and maybe i did but i didn't wasn't like you know time for me to watch it but it was the secret dare to dream it's Josh Lucas and Katie Holmes, and it was an amazing movie. Anyways, the movie was filled with so many synchronicities. There was a quote in the beginning of it, Albert Einstein's quote, talking about miracles. Throughout the movie, one of the daughter's names is Missy, right? And I, I'm saying this because you guys are aquas too. And, you know, my birthday's February 4th. And so in the movie, it was one of the daughter's birthdays, and her name is Missy. So the sign said, happy birthday, Missy. And I just remember Spirit last night telling me, happy rebirth day. Happy reborn day. Your heart is reborn, purified now. It's like literally no fucking accidents. Isn't that insane? So insane. Oh, look at this. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens and chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like collectively a lot of people are getting chemistry, but I swear I feel like we've gotten that for a minute. It's magnets, fireflies. It's... I heard inevitable. Something's inevitable. Somebody's running. You can't run from what's yours. Right? You can't run from destiny. You just can't. It is... You know how I just shared with you guys how I went through some type of like rebirth again and stripping away all of these layers to sort of purify me? That's what this getting to know each other is with you and a person or you and someone. It's like you guys have these connections or whatever. It's like takes you to the next level or something. It's like someone's really like only they only show the surface like this. It's very aqua, very Scorpio too. They only show the surface like this. You only see this. It's like the ice, the tip of the iceberg, right? And so like when we actually connect with people that we trust and we really feel like, you know, connected with, we allow them to go deeper like this. And that's what this is. It's like going deeper. See, chemistry can be just physical and sexual. We can have that with anybody. But a deep soul connection, that, that's not shit that you can have with just anybody. It's... something's ancient i saw the word ancient it's ancient they keep saying it like that too it's ancient it could be an ancient love affair connection tale as old as time shit you know yeah look at her keeping all of, she's keeping it all to herself seven of arrows she's keeping all the communication to herself so the more she opens up and communicates the deeper she gets the deeper they get and look at her she's holding back afraid the dude in the back sleeping too. You have justice here too. This is Libra. Justice is about karma. Karmic lessons. Some of you met someone recently. Karmic partner. Throughout our whole life, right? We've had all these karmic soulmates. A karmic soulmate is somebody that you are not meant to be with forever. Feels like it. It was a, it was a season and a reason, right? There's a lesson. Season and a reason. season and a reason for some of you part of your karmic lesson is opening up I, they keep going back to as you reveal your innermost selves to each other it's sort of like opening opening up and it's very difficult we can open up and be really friendly surfacely as aquas we could 
right? Oh, just acquaintances with everybody. No, you're talking, this is soul level, deep to the bone marrow. Nine of arrows. See, she's super fucking scared. She's afraid, she's crying, she's holding back. Look at this angel, this angel is taking it from her. It's almost as if the angel is saying, just give it to me, I'll do it. <laughs> Maybe the angels intervene, honestly, right? It's divine intervention possibly, but it's also saying, give me the thought, stop worrying about it. it is, it's, it's thoughts, it's worries, it could be all in the head, yeah, fears, anxieties, and they're saying, give it to me. Stop, wor why do you worry? And truly, why do we worry when everything always works itself out? Things are always working out for me, as Abraham Hicks says, but she's so stressed the fuck out and the angel's just like, stop. Oh my God. They're both doing it to each other. Look at this one. Two of arrows. He's doing the same thing. While she sleeps. And then you also have the hermit contemplation. These are two cards I just had on my live. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Someone's thinking about you. You're their muse. This could even be being inspired by someone who they've never even met you yet. They're just like inspired by an energy of a vision of somebody. They meet you. They go, holy fuck. It's you. You'd be all me. What? They'd be all. <laughs> um, it's two of arrows with this angel watching her sleep. Again, you have two cards with divine intervention with the angels intervening taking that worry from her and i almost feel like taking the 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 the, 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 the angels it's divine intervention period the angels are taking over it's always protected always divinely guided and protected eight of staves now it starts moving now communication this could be travel see totally stuck in the head goes from this right trapped fears, worries, anxiety, overthinking, to now eight of staves movement. That's two eights in a row. Eights are about in, in, infinite abundance, right? It's communication though. Communication opens back up. There's a period of time where there's no communication. <clears throat> it's a shutdown period. And then communication starts again. Remember when I saw the word earlier, inevitable? Eight of coins, working really hard. Princess of arrows, this is psyche. It's sort of like, okay, I'm gonna go do my thing, you go do your thing. And it's like inevitable, you just, it's magnets that you just zoop, come right back. Oh, this is the divine intervention. They're sending in everybody. Feels like Cupid. <laughs> Cupid's friend or girlfriend or whatever. Cupid's girlfriend psyche. They're sending her in. It's divine intervention. They're they're all getting involved. See three of cups. Look, the ancestors, the spirit guides. They're all celebrating. They're all like they're intervening. Hmm. <laughs> Persephone and Pluto transformation. Death. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end. There's a transformation of this connection. It, remember I told you it's like it stops. It's something about it could end. This could end. It could completely end. Crash and burn end. And it comes back around or it's it grows again. It's a rebirth of it. Yeah, Venus and Vulcan balance. The duality. Look, night and day. Duality. It's a yin and a yang. It's perfect balance. It's opposites. It's um Oh, look at that, the queen of coins. She is so focused on her coins. This is someone who's extremely balanced and grounded and rooted, self-made. Queen of coins would be definitely self-made. She has a lot to offer. So she has a lot to lose, yeah? Ace of staves. There's a, there's a, there's a very big something happening. It's something very huge and new. Um, it's an offer. It's it's movement. It's 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 a it's a taking action. It's going from eh, to like literally offering it. It's, Come with me. We're gonna do this or whatever. I feel like you guys hear me say this a lot that you know fortune favors the brave. 
Somebody takes action or is brave and courageous. Fortune favors the brave. Those who are afraid of themselves, those who are afraid of their feelings, those who are afraid to face things, they do not win in the end. It's, that's cowardly. Coward behavior. Nah. Fortune favors the brave. Those who are fearless, especially when it comes to love, putting oneself out there, <clears throat> but also self-love. Very brave and courageous for one to, to put all focus on oneself and to allow that cleansing and purification process to happen with oneself. Ten of arrows. The worst is over. The worst is over. Somebody here may have had sleepless nights. Yeah, Tristan, any soul desire. This is the chariot number seven. Reconnection. Fortune favors the brave. Somebody here takes a shot. They take a chance or... Or, they, or there's something that ends though. It ends, and then it restarts again. It's part of the cycle. It feels like it's it, it's the season of it. It starts, it stops, it starts again. And you've heard me channel this for oh, like a big part of 2020. Start, stop, start. It's part of the season of it. It has to end. There's something about this nothingness. There's something about like being alone, being without or something. It's... It also creates this balance that must happen, the light and the dark, the happy and the sad, the, the, the fear and the love, you know? They say that fear is the opposite of love. So somebody here really being brave, I feel like the both of you though, in different points in time are, are, are brave in different ways or something. And it's like, it's being vulnerable. It's probably the biggest lesson for most people in 2020, but as an aqua, fellow aqua, and channeling for aquas, and knowing a lot of aquas, this is our biggest test. Our biggest test is being open and vulnerable, period. Getting to know each other, your bond deepens as you as you reveal your innermost self, so your, bonds, your bond deepens. I, that's your first fucking card, because it's what it is. It's very difficult. crash in the burn maybe you reveal yourself to somebody and they go you know what i don't like you and it's unrequited and you go oh fuck and then this process of like oh shit sad and going through the motions and clearing yourself out and when you do that thing the real person that you're supposed to be with just comes right in and you know the movie last night when they're talking about the albert einstein quote about miracles and then today in uh, my live i actually pull the miracles card from this particular deck I don't know what this deck is called. And then after that, I see Deepak Chopra's quote about now is the miracle. And I'm just like, the miracle arrives. Remember I kept channeling when pigs fly? It'll be so fucking incredible. It'll be like when pigs fly. It will be literally like you can't make it up. But only those who believe in magic will find it. And only those who are crazy enough. Remember, fortune favors the brave. Right? This is not being stupid and naive and jumping in a fire pit. Nah. Nah. This is fortune favors the brave. Community. I know what it says, but all I want you to do is to see the butterflies. Transformation. Right? You have wings now. Coming out of this spiritual awakening. And then the rainbow. Rainbow is God's promise. It's also abundance. One more, please. And then we're going to end this. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And also, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. If you have any questions about anything, check the description box below. Everything is there, okay? You have trust. Trust that everything's always working out for you. Everything's always working out for me. The universe taketh, the universe giveth. We know this. Even the losses, trust that they're all meant to be. It's all part of the plan trust in the divine order trust if it goes let it and if it stays let it okay this is super important you've got to trust in what is trust what is not 
what's for me will always be for me that's why i relax all right i love you guys i'll see you later bye